Back home now, negotiations are heating up for the Tasmanian Liberals to form a minority state government. Fresh from being confirmed on the weekend, the incoming Jackie Lambie Network MPs could fulfil three of the four members needed to supply confidence to the Rockcliffe government. They say they intend to sign a deal and make its details public. We'll work with them to put something in the document that is actually best for everybody. Works for us, works for the government. We have got, you know, a real interest in making this work. You know, obviously Labor threw in the towel quite early. We couldn't form a government with them anyway. Joining us now live from Hobart is David Kellick, political editor with the Mercury newspaper. David, good to see you. Thanks for your time. It was one of the most exciting election nights we've seen in a while. Results up in the air on the night. Where have things landed now? A couple of weeks on. What's the makeup of the parliament looking like? Great to be with you. Yes, so we've had the declarations of the polls in Hobart and in Devonport and in Launceston today. The Liberal Party uh, have finished up on 14 seats, Labor on, t on 10. There are five Greens, there are three Lambie Network members and there are, two, uh, there are also, sorry, three Independents. So it's going to be a particularly interesting parliament uh, for the Liberal Party. They're most favoured to um, take government. Uh, they'll be supported, as you heard in that clip there, by the Jackie Lambie network. Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe is talking to the key independents. That's Christy Johnson in the Hobart Bay seat of Clark, David O'Byrne in Franklin and Craig Garland up in Braddon to see how um, they're going to make Parliament work. The difficulty for the Liberals is that they need 18 votes in a 35-seat House with a written agreement with the Lambie network people. They'll have one short of what they need. They need to provide a speaker. So they're going to need some sort of assurance from those three independents that they will back the government on votes of confidence and pass budget bills. And David, the Lambie candidates, they were pretty much policy free throughout the campaign. Do we have any better idea now where they stand on some of those key issues like the proposal for a new stadium, for example? So the Lambie candidates held a press conference yesterday. They make the point that they were only found out that they were elected on Saturday. Um, you know, one of the comments was, we're just waiting to get our feet under the desk. There are a lot of big issues that people want questions on and the Lambie party was light on on detail during the campaign. We had a, a better idea after yesterday about their position on forestry, on aquaculture. We have a clear idea of what they're looking for before they can either back or oppose the stadium. But really, from their point of view, um, they're seeking briefings. Um, you know, they want briefings on everything from the budget to the AFL deal. Um, they've got a lot of work to do in the next couple of weeks. Parliament's expected to go back late in May. So um, they'll have a lot of work to get across those issues. It's made more complex by um, the, I guess, the rift within the Lambie network um, and, and Senator Tammy Tyrrell exiting the network. She was on radio this morning saying that uh, the board of the network um, told her that, that she no longer they she no longer had their confidence, um, and so she likened it to a marriage that hadn't worked out. So questions have been raised about how those candidates are going to work with the board, how much um, you know, and where they're going to land on on the big issues, and who's going to be pulling the strings. They've made it clear they're very much their own people. Um, it raises the possibility they may even vote. Um, differently rather than caucusing on, on some matters. Yeah, the new government could be in for a wild ride on that one. David Kelly, really appreciate your analysis. Thanks so much. Great to be with you.